Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're helping out Jocelyn with the eats of visiting Massachusetts. We are here on Boston Common, and we've eaten very well on many of our trips here to Massachusetts. Whether we've been here in Boston, having a great time, or out in the Berkshires, you'll eat well when you're here. And so we want to kind of give you the things you should eat when you are here in Massachusetts. And for me, it starts with the clams. And there's two big ways you can have clams that I highly recommend. One is clam chowder, okay? If you've never had clam chowder, it's clams. It's a cream soup put together into heaven on a spoon. Look, wherever you go in Massachusetts, don't worry, clam chowder will pop up. And whether you have a cup to start off or have a bowl for a whole meal, you'll be happy that you have it, okay? So that's the first thing, have that clam chowder. Second thing, if you can have fried clam strips, oh my God, clam strips where they, they bread them and fry them up and they serve them up to you are just amazing. Whether you're at a restaurant, but what I recommend to you, when you're driving around the state and you go and you see this like, kind of like house or pseudo restaurant-y looking thing or outdoor shack kind of thing that sells fried clams and ice cream, stop there and get the fried clams. You're welcome. End of story. You have to get that. And, and when you stop at those things, get the fried clam basket, you know, with the fries and everything. And then, then go back again for an ice cream or a, or a frap. And if you're not sure what a frap is, if you're outside of Massachusetts and parts of New England, you might call it a milkshake. Okay. So a milkshake here in Massachusetts is like chocolate milk. It's milk and syrup stirred together. If you want the thing that's the milk and syrup and ice cream together mixed together that's a frap okay so just have a heads up when you are here but those are also good to get at those little ice cream clam stands like on the outskirts of town so nice so worth it stop there you'll be happy now my next couple things i want to talk about for here are famous because well boston's in the name but they're famous for one of the tasty treats you have to have when you're here and one of course is boston baked beans yes we've all had baked beans before but these are almost like i would almost say like so sweet it's like candy heaven in your mouth because what you have is molasses and brown sugar some pork in there with the beans of course and they are awesome so you can get them as a side dish and they'll just be called baked beans when you get on the side dish here in massachusetts get it you'll be super happy another boston named treat you want to have is boston cream pie and and if you watch our don'ts of massachusetts video on our walters world channel uh, you'll notice that what people say and what it is or or how it's spelled and then what you actually say like these things all get jumbled up here and i know i say that it's called boston cream pie thing is it's not a pie what it is is sponge cake vanilla cream sponge cake covered in chocolate again amazing if you're here in boston or you're throughout the state grab a piece if you can now some other sweets you might want to have when you're here obviously if you're in north part of boston there's a big italian community and there's really great italian restaurants and a lot of people say go to mike's and have mike's cannoli okay so it's you know the tube pastry filled with ricotta or whatever you want inside that's kind of famous but for me what i recommend if you're here is actually get a whoopie pie which is Again, it's a whoopie pie, but it's more like a um, cake sandwich because it's chocolate cake, then the white cream filling, and then chocolate cake underneath, and you eat that. That was much more, Liam was much more a fan of that than the cannolis, and so am I. So that's another thing to grab when you're here in Massachusetts. Now, right now, Liam is out enjoying a camp here in New England, and we're making lunch for him every day. We're here, and I thought, hey, you know what? There's another traditional thing from Massachusetts that you have to have if you are here. And if you're staying in an Airbnb, that's, or a rental or something, this is one of the things you can do there. It's called a fluffernutter. Now, if you're not sure what a fluffernutter is, we've all had peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? Two pieces of bread and then peanut butter and jelly in the middle. Well, this is peanut butter with marshmallow fluff between two slices of bread. Look. I won't lie to you, when you make this, you probably have to wash your hands like six times before and after uh, making it and while you make it, but it is a cavity stickiness delight that you should have when you're here. And what's cool, if you go to the grocery store, you actually see that they'll have the marshmallow fluff right next to the peanut butter to make life a lot easier. Now, another tasty treat you'll have, and this is more in the fall, really, are cider donuts. Look, if you didn't know, Johnny Appleseed, he's actually from here in Massachusetts, and he would be very proud that every fall the cider donuts come out. And if you go and you're you know, exploring out and seeing all the leaves changing and the beauty of the state, and you see a place that says, oh, fresh cider donuts, stop, go off, get yourself a dozen, because you'll knock them back no problem. Or grab a couple here, go down the road farther, get a couple more so they're as hot and tasty as possible when you get them. But cider donuts in the fall, definitely a good thing to get if you're not here in the fall not really something to grab because it's not in season now another thing that when you ever think of coming to new england in general in massachusetts another thing you want to have and i'm, I'm moving out of the sweets and moving back to the the meal time is lobster and you can have lobster in so many different ways 
broiled lobster, lobster thermidor, maybe you just want to have lobster bisque, the soup, the, I mean lobster is all over the place, but the thing you'll probably see the most are lobster rolls, again sometimes on the side of the road you can grab them with the split top hot dog buns put in there, but lobster rolls are also fantastic, well worth having when you're here in Massachusetts. Now, if you're more of a fish connoisseur, well, don't worry, you can have a fish fry or you can have fish and chips when you are here. You know, the, the fried battered fish when you are here, the flaky goodness of the white fish inside, definitely great. Remember that place I told you about with the fried clams? You can get it there too and it'll be awesome or you can go to a pub and get it, but yes, yes, yes. Fish and chips is awesome. Another fish you might have is scrod, and I've only had that up here. I don't have it where I live. And what you can get it, if you can get it stuffed, which is it's scrod, it's the fish, then stuffed inside with more seafood things and maybe a little lobster sauce on top or some kind of sauce on top that just makes you drool. That's a nice one. You don't see it everywhere, but you can get it. it it's worth grabbing. Another seafood delicacy when you are here are oysters. Um, you'll see a lot of oyster joints here in Boston, actually, and go grab some oysters, whether it's happy hour or not. They are something to really, really grab when you are here. Now, if you're looking for something a bit cheaper, some cheaper fare, and I know a lot of people like to go and get sandwiches, is one thing I think you should know is you wanna get a grinder when you're here, you know, a sub sandwich, they call that a grinder. So there's lots of delis you can grab. If you're driving around, like you're going to the Berkshires or something like that, and you're driving around, you wanna grab a sandwich, grab a grinder. It'll be a nice long, you know, on the hoagie roll filling sandwich you'll have. And of course you can choose your own fillings for that. So, so don't worry. And you'll see that some of the general stores, they'll actually have them there. So you just drive in, get gas, go in the general store and they'll have a little deli section. They'll make the sandwich right there for you. And for a cider to your grinder lunch, Cape Cod potato chips are a must here in Massachusetts. They are super crispy. I mean, for me, I like the salt and vinegar ones, but they have 4,000 different flavors. So at least try the original because that's what the locals like. Now, if you're searching for some breakfast fare, I guess I should really tell you that Dunkin' Donuts or Dunkin' is really a big thing here in Massachusetts. And the thing is, there's cafes all over the place. There's places you can grab coffee and do whatever, but Dunkin' is like a religion here. Like people love it. See, the probably because I, I said Dunkin', they had to ring for it, right? Um, but when you are there, you grab some munchkins, the little balls or donuts, you can have that. But just know that if you don't have anywhere to grab breakfast when you're here in Massachusetts, don't worry, there's a Dunkin' around the corridor. And it could be in a historic building or a brand new, you know, mini mall kind of thing, but you can have that. Another breakfast thing if you can get is, the thing is blueberries are really big here in Massachusetts. And what I would say is if you can get blueberry anything, but blueberry muffins are really good. And I've actually seen where they'll cut it down the middle and then they'll just throw it on the griddle for a little bit and then serve it to you. Griddled blueberry cupcakes, awesome, awesome, awesome. And the thing is, is when you're here, there's also a lot of drinks you can have. Um, I think seltzer is a big thing. You have all the different flavored seltzers when you're up here for non-alcoholic drinks. The beers up here, all throughout New England, they've got really great beers. Uh, Massachusetts is no different. And finally, for our coffee drinkers out there, if you are someone that feels that a regular coffee should have cream and sugar, well, don't worry. If you order a regular coffee here in Massachusetts, it's with cream and sugar. If you want a black coffee, just plain, you got to call ask for black coffee. All right. So. I hope this helps you know what to eat and maybe drink when you come here to Massachusetts because you will eat really, really, really well when you are here. There is no doubt about that. So whether you're here in Boston for a weekend away or going to the Berkshires to explore, or you're hitting the coast and going to the Cape, I wish you all the best here and I hope you eat well and I'll say bye from here in Boston.